In this video, guys, we're going to look at is insider selling a warning you should dump your shares or go short. Stay tuned. Hey guys, one well, welcome to you. So insider selling, insider buying, how important is it when making an investment decision for your stock portfolio? Okay, so board members, and this varies from country to country, but ultimately the rules are the same, UK, US, I'm not familiar with some of the others, but there's likely going to be something like similar to this. Board members and executives must disclose buys and sells of a company stock. Now this is to prevent insider dealing. And let's just distinguish those two. Should have done that really at the beginning. Insider selling or insider dealing. Now, insider trading is when you've got information that is not public and you're illegally trading based on that information. For example, you're a board member, you know that that company is about to be bought out by another company for a uh, you know, 40% premium on the current stock price and you load the boat with stock, you are acting illegally and that's illegal. Uh, however, insider buying, let's say you're in the company, all, everything's out in the open, you just think that the company's going places, you think you've got a great management team, got great ideas, and you buy and invest in the company, that's different. That's perfectly legal and you're perfectly allowed to do that. However, you must disclose that to the public because the public traded company, the public should know that you're buying or selling. So we have these systems where board members and executives should disclose their buyings or sellings. The, questions for us, the question for us as individual investors is how important is that insider selling or insider buying? Now, how we can track this, if we're, on, if we're trading the US, um, we can use Edgar, which is the SEC's kind of search facility. You can search in, uh, put in there the company you want, it'll show all the filings. Finviz is a kind of cleaner way of doing it. You can look at the stock and then scroll right down the summary of the stock and at the bottom, you'll see the inside of some buys and sells. So now we know what has to happen and we know what we have to see to see it happen. How useful is it? now? Um, clusters of buys or sells by individuals could be good or bad signals. Now, that's kind of so it seems like a bit of a stupid statement to make. But what do I mean by that? So if you've got a cluster of buys from a, a group of directors or a group of board members, so you've got five or six people who are buying stock, decent amount of stock for their what you perceive their net worth to be, not just a couple hundred quid's worth, you know, some serious cash, that could be a good signal that the stock is going places. So for example, um, you know, if, if you've got just a selection of people who are buying stock in a company that's doing well, you might think they think it's more valuable. They're right on the front line. And even though it's not inside a dealing, they perceive that they've got a good pipeline of business. They've got a good chance of getting stuff done, whatever it may be. It's almost like a little bit of an extra um, help into your decision making. Uh, but vice versa, really the title of the video is what about the sales? Now, again, if set directors are dumping stock more than they're buying it and you're getting a sway the directors who are getting rid of lots of stock, uh, then that probably is a bad sign. Um, the point is, if it's just um, one director, a one board member, and put that there, then that could be innocent, right? It could be just looking to cash in, to buy a house, to buy an asset, to diversify his investment. You know, I wouldn't think that just one or perhaps two people selling off stock is really a big deal. You know, they, they may have a big bunch of stock, they're just trimming down something and got their, all their eggs in one basket. It makes sense if you put yourself in, in their shoes, if you had, you know, several million um, riding on one stock and it was quite a large proportion of your net worth, obviously if you're worth a couple hundred million, you might not be so concerned. If you're maybe only worth, you know, six or seven million and you've got a lot of that in that, you might want to take some out, cash some in and distribute it elsewhere or whatever, or do something useful with it. So I don't necessarily think that's such a bad thing, but let's now start to match these up with conjunction with fundamentals. So uh, some of the scenarios we might get. So let's say you have a stock that's got really bad earnings. It's been hammered. It's just getting down. It's getting brutalized. But then you've got a swathe of directors who are buying stock, who are buying the stock after bad earnings. Um, then you could think, well, they're unlikely to buy that stock. All those directors are unlikely to buy that stock at a decent size if 
they perceive that the company was going further down. They would be waiting. They're the ones on the front line. They're the ones that have got a good idea of what's happening day to day. Why would they waste money on it? So that's something interesting. Similarly, vice versa, look at the same scenario. Say company earnings were bad and it, it spiked down and then you saw a lot of uh, insiders selling across the board. That would probably be a bad sign as well because if they think they're selling it at more of a discount, they must think potentially there's more to go. Are they right every time? Do they know? Of course they don't. They don't have a, they don't have a clue uh, really where the stock price is going to go. And again, they, they, they're they all trying to make the company more valuable. That's why they're on the board. Well, you'd hope they are. That's why they're doing what they're doing. But they ultimately don't know, but it's, it's a good guide. And similarly, if we look on the, on the flip side, let's say a company's soaring, stock price is higher, directors are still buying, they're buying, they're buying, um, then that may well be a good indicator that it's going to go further. If you sort of sway the directors who are selling at highs, they might think that we're in for some challenging times ahead. They might think that actually we, you know, we've, we've peaked a little bit. We're in for kind of a, a couple of quarters or a couple, well, a couple of quarters, a couple of years of, of stagnation and they're just capitalizing that. So I think the key to it is, um, it's not a warning as such on its own. I think one or two directors is fine. Look for the clusters and look for the clusters where they are in relation to uh, the fundamentals. So look at the fundamentals in terms of the earnings, in terms of how much debt they've got, in terms of all the other things that you look at. And in terms of the technicals as well, what the, what's the price doing? Has it been battered down? We're seeing buyers battered down and sellers. You know, those extremes are causing directors to do something. How does that match up with the extreme and the story for the extreme? And put it all together and then make a decision from that. So that's insider selling and buying. Uh, have a look, see what you think about it. Comments in the comment section below as always, guys. And appreciate your subscription if you are subscribed. If you're not already, maybe consider doing so for more videos from me and others on the channel. Take care. Goodbye.